all right guys uh, thanks for joining my channel again um, this video this week I'm going to work on will be mobile phones uh, what I depopulate off mobile phones how I depopulate them um, and what's worth taking off the mobile phone boards so uh, if you aren't already a subscriber to the channel please subscribe um, like share comment so as you can see what I'll have here is my mobile phones and I'm going to use the heat gun method to remove the um, chips, the gold bearing materials um, I'll then I'll, when I have them all removed from all the boards that I'll be doing today then I'll sort through them and we'll go through on what what I keep on them, what I get rid of what I don't need so um, first thing, first few safety things just I'll be Wearing a heat resistant glove when I'm doing this because the temperatures get up to about 600 degrees so I'll have heat, heat resistant glove on also there will be fumes which will come off the um, the boards when you're heating them up so you'll have the fumes coming off so again I'll have the mask on um, and I'll also be doing this in a ventilated area outside in a ventilated area so please subscribe to the channel um, I have a few new subscribers um, the more I get, the better. I hope I can get my channels. Uh, the more comments I get, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there's something I'm missing when I'm doing it. People can comment, let me know what I should be doing better. Um, so, as I say, we'll, we'll depopulate these boards. Um, so in the next part of the video, you'll see that I'll be outside. Um, I'll have the heat gun going, so there may be a bit of noise. Uh, sorry for that, if there is. Um, I'll try and just describe what I'm doing. And then when I'm finished that part, I'm going to come back and we'll do the sorting out of them. So, as I say, I'll have a, a lot of sorting out to do between getting the chips, the gold bearing materials. As you can see here, the gold, it's gold. Uh, again, there'll be a lot of waste, like these covers I'll be just throwing aside. Um, see these little mortars, at the moment I've no use for them. These little mortars, maybe maybe there's someone buying them or something, maybe I should be holding on to them. Um, let me know. Again, we have the tantalum here as well I'll be sorting them out separately um, some of the boards also will have um, MLCC's on them um, so I'll be separating them MLCC's and collecting them up as well for further processing at a later date um, so uh, there's also you can see there there's some um, crystal oscillators but the ones with the gold bearing uh, I think they call them ceramic crystal oscillators is the correct word for them but if anyone could let me know if that's different again you can see the MLCC's there so I'll be sorting them MLCC's and collecting them up adding them to my collection uh, for further processing and later dates um, so again there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff on these boards that I collect up uh, again you need a good quantity of them altogether I'd say I have about 14 or 1500 boards to go through now I won't be doing them all in this video I'll just take a small amount do them up and um, process them later so that you can get an idea on what's what's on these boards for um, further processing if anyone wants to get into them with them so again you can see the different type of tantalum there so we have a couple of different tantalums on the phone on the mobile phones um, so that, that's about it for, for this section of the video so when I come back the next section of the video um, you'll see that I'll be um, working on the outside with the heat gun so again remember safety first uh, always when dealing with uh, fumes, whether it's from the acids, whether it's from uh, boards, from melting, plastics, anything like that, always have the gas masks on or the fume masks. Um, and again, I'll have the heat resistant gloves on uh, because the temperature on the gun can get up to 600 degrees. Okay, uh, so when I come back, we'll be outside and working away on it. Okay, guys, um, sorry about the noise, that's the heat gun, as you can see. So, as I was saying, We'll have that up at 600 degrees. Uh, it's just a normal uh, heat gun. So I'll have that at 600 degrees. Again, the gloves. We'll say in the heat gloves. And the um, gas mask or fume mask. So I'll be putting that on now. So sorry about the, the, um, if my voice is hard to, to stay, to understand or whatever. But we'll be sticking this on now. Okay, so I'm 
is eight. So I just get a board, I hold it between the pliers or snips or anything you, you can use to hold it and I just put the heat gun on it till it's heated up. So sometimes this can take a long process uh, depending on what sort of glues have been used on it. Other times they come off fairly easy so it all depends on. So I just heat it up there till I think that it's um, hot enough. Watch out for batteries. On this one now there's a little battery so if I heat that too much the battery would have, it would have um, exploded. So that's one thing you have to watch, this happened a couple times on me. So just um, heat them up. Once I think I have it up to heat enough to bring some of the stuff off, I just tap it. And anything that it isn't heated up enough yet will stay on. So again, just tap it there so one of the chips has gone off. So again, just heat up some more of the chips. So again, some more chips after falling off there. Okay, so you can see there all the chips were there removed from that was down here. So now we'll just move up the board. Do the other side. You see there the chip about to come off there. It's loosened up so it's ready to fall off. So I'll just knock it into the well, it should lock in for me, but here we go. So now that board has uh been cleaned up of any of the uh, chips and stuff. All that's left now is the uh, solder on that board. So what you can do with that board, you can leave it in um, HCL to get rid of the solder. So there's a few little components still left there. You can see them there. So I just put the heat gun on them, and that should remove the last of them. Now, so that's them gone. So I'll put that board aside, and um, that'll be further treated with HCL. So I'll just move on to another board there. Okay, so again, while I'll be looking, I'll be removing all this with the heat gun, it should loosen up the, some of these come off without even having to, so I can just remove them to expose the chips. Okay, so that exposes the chips to the heat, um, and we'll just heat that up. Just heat these up 
um, to expose it. Make sure you're wearing your mask because you can get some fumes. I'm outside at the moment, so fumes are not a real issue, but I still have the mask. So you can see there now, I've removed a good lot of chips there in one go. So, just gonna switch that off for a minute so you can hear me better. Um, so that board there now is done again. So all that's left on that is solder, so that can be treated with HCL, um, and that will dissolve the solder and leave the board a nice clean board. Um, and then we can process the gold, um, the little gold plating. Well, it's not even gold; it's just flashing, very thin flashing. We can process all them boards together to get that off. Um, at a later stage, I'll hope to do a video on that. So, um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to switch off the camera. As you can see in here now, that's some of the chips that I've gone through. I'm going to switch off the camera. I'm just going to run through all these boards. Um, I'm going to run through all this that I have here, and we'll come back when I've all that done. Also, um, I hope to do more videos. As I was saying already, I hope to do do some more videos at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is once I, for every 10 subscribers I get from now on, every time I get 10 subscribers, I'm going to do a new video. So if you want to see new videos and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you are a subscriber and you want to see new videos, um, try and get some of your friends maybe or someone else that is interested in this to subscribe. So once I, for every 10 new subscribers I get from now on, I'm going to do a video. Once I get the 10 new subscribers, I'll do a video. So. Um, if you want to see new videos, uh, please subscribe for, as I said, for every tin I'll do a new videos. So I'm going to switch off, I'll come back when I've ran through all the boards and we'll see what we've got so far. Okay, so um, I, I've depopulated all the boards there now, so what I'm on to is I'm going to have to start sorting. So, all the boards, no more chips on them, completely depopulated on both sides um, so the board then are ready for the next stage which is says HC, I'll soak them in HCL um, hydrochloric acid to um, remove any solder that's left any little bits I, that I may have missed before I'll put treat these the same way as I'll treat um, the fingers the trimmed fingers so we'll, and hopefully in a future video we'll see how I do that um, I say once I get more subscribers to the channel, I'll be doing more videos. Um, so for every ten subscribers, we'll do a new video. So as you can see there now, there's a lot of metal, a lot of stuff that I won't be using. I'll be getting rid of. But we have our uh, chips, we have our pins. So all this I'll sort out at a um, at another stage. But later on in this video you'll see me sorting this out uh, but for now that's what I've retrieved from the boards so you can see there's some chips there's some uh, waste boards that have nothing on them um, a lot of metal a lot of this metal is it's no good to anything um, then again see it. there's another little chips some more chips that would have taken off the, the board um, so on the next stage of the video you'll see me separating these out, I'll get rid of all the metal, I'll um, hopefully then we'll separate out the chips, the MCL, MLCCs, the tantalums, um, anything gold bearing I'll put in a separate again to be to remove the gold pins at a later stage, so you can see there that's got gold pins in it. Um, so we'll remove these, store them separately and at a later stage I'll remove the gold pins and put them in the jar with the rest of the gold pins I have from these mobile phones. Uh, here again, some more gold, gold tipped pins or gold, gold flash pins. Some more chips. 
some little tantalums. Uh, larger tantalums. Again, gold, gold uh, plated or gold flashed uh, connections. So again, I'll put, store them with my gold pins for processing later in hopefully future videos. So. Um, I'll move on to the next stage now, we'll move on to sorting and um, then we'll finish up on that, we'll just have a little chat at the end and um, hopefully we get a few new subscribers to the channel. Okay so my next stage is to sort out all this mess of stuff from mobile phones, so you can see I have chips, um, bits of metal, MLCCs, um, tantalums, um, so all different stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to separate out all the metals, uh, chips, MLCCs, all that sort of stuff. So I'll, when I come back, I should have it all separated out. Um, don't put it on need, and we'll run through the stuff that I keep off them. Okay, so I've removed all the metal now from these. So what I'm left with now is uh, chips, um, any gold bearing material, uh, tantalums, um, MLCCs, um, so I can see a few, few chips, um, gold bearing, just some gold bearing pins. So I'll separate them into separate locations. Um, what else we in there? We have a few tantalums, they're down further. They'll be down, here we go. As you can see, sorry, no. here we go. So the tantalums, uh, MLCC, so I'm gonna further process them. Uh, anything like this, which is, there doesn't seem to be anything value there, I just dispose of them. Um, separately again, just throw them away um, as I come across them, so when I come back, I'm sure I've got all the chips sorted out, the tantalums, the uh, gold bearing material, um, MLCCs, that's what I'm going to look for and then anything that's left over I just put it, I store it away again with, um, with other stuff from previous ones just in case it's something I've missed, um, if I'm not sure what it is I'll put it away, store it up in cases of any value so when I come back in the next part of the video you should see um, it's just all the um, all the stuff when I've sorted out, what I sorted out into the sections, what way I uh, sort out my materials uh, before moving on to the uh, final stage, which will be the process of them in later videos. So when you come back, we should have everything ready to to look at what we've got out of these mobile phones. Okay, so I've uh, finished up sorting out most of the um, the bits and pieces from the mobile phones. So just a quick look at the way I've sorted them out. So as you can see in here again these are the gold bearing and things that's gold bearing uh, pins um, little gold bearing connectors. I've left them aside and they will be processed further in a future video you'll see how I process these taking them down and I'll add them to my pins then into the pin jars that I collect. So that's that one. These are my chips. That I've got. So there are all the chips, I see chips. I also got one uh, BGA black cap as well. Tantalum. So again, we have the tantalums there, so I'll add them to my collection of tantalums there. Um, these are the ceramic crystal oscillators. So these are my ceramic crystal oscillators. So now when you break one of them open, I've one of them here, I don't know, it might be easy to see. But 
you can see the gold inside. So that's what's inside of them ceramic um, oscillators. A lot of times gold or the silver. So that one there that I broke open had gold in it. And the last thing that I got from them is MLCCs. Now this is a small amount of MLCCs. There's a lot more that I haven't siphoned through and taken out yet. So they're still inside of here. This is still some of the stuff I have to sort through. So again, I'll add them to my collection of MLCCs. So again, I'll just collect them up as I'm going along. So that's about it now. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Don't forget what I said. If um, for every 10 new subscribers I get, I'll put up a new video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.